journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, as uh, the trading gods would have it, we have a slight technical difficulty here in the old Pueblo. I had some really nice charts to show you that were sent to me by Rich Anderson and also by Bill Meridian. And guess what? When I try to click on those charts on my desktop like I usually do, up pops Word, Microsoft Word. I shut it down. I took it off. And no matter when I click, it's something different that's happened since about three hours ago. So we'll try to get those to you tomorrow. Let's look at real time where we are, folks. This is the one we talked about here uh, last Wednesday. You'll notice here uh, we were looking for this price of level of 104.33 to come in on the uh, – June hogs, and we've hit that so far. We're trading slightly below that right now. You'll notice that they actually opened lower down at the 61% retracement and rallied, believe it or not, four cents in hogs. That's a that's a huge amount. Now, the cattle market, of course, is not uh, following through, but I just wanted to bring this pattern to you because it is a three drive to a uh, uh, top pattern, and it is a multiple ABCD pattern. So that's why we, we take a, uh, a very, very close uh, – Look at these as we're watching them, okay? Now, let's take a look at natural gas. We've had several people ask about that, and one of the things that we did here, <clears throat> hold on one second, and we'll try to get this up and running so we can see where we are. Now, here is natural gas. Here's where we were last night. We came down to the 78% level. We stayed there for about a millisecond, and then we started up, and we've gone all the way up to 184.40. Now, you notice this big move that we had here at the ABCD. One of the things that we know is if we have an ABCD move and we've got something like this, a freight train moving, what do you have to do is you got to say that is going to extend, and what did it what did it do? It extended exactly to the 1.618 expansion. Hold on one second. I want to uh, get this up here so we can see it. I've got something special coming out for everybody. Uh, it'll be probably tomorrow. And there, as you can see, it, well, actually, the 1.618 1, 1 goes a lot higher. But uh, there's where your expansion of this move comes in right here. But we're, we are going to higher. Look, we couldn't even make a 382 retracement on this so far today. So let's uh, let's keep a close eye on that one, all right? Okay, now let me make a little comment here. People ask me all the time. I pick you these numbers, and we look at them in certainty. They hit pretty good. Folks, these numbers are they're, everything in our life that we do with money is created with numbers. All of these betting things that we do, all of the trading things that we do, we do betting. If you know, I don't, I don't bet on sporting events. I, uh, once in a while, I'll, I'll take a flyer on something, but uh, most of the time, when the bookmakers make their bets, they are so good at predicting what the outcome is going to be and what the point spread is going to be. How do they do that? Well, they do that because they have statistics that make it look like a holy Bible. I mean, they've got statistics everywhere. It's the same thing in baseball, hockey, horse racing especially. The trainers and all the different horses and the races that they can be in, all of those have, have a, what do you call, footprints. And so if you can start to follow those footprints, that's what gets to where you are. Now, we, we keep things really simple here with AB equals CD, but I'm going to pre pre present a video that I did be before. It's about the Floor Traders Handbook and how these numbers come together and why the, you know, the uh, – Standard deviation is so important. Remember, standard deviation is based on the options market. And the options market is much, much bigger than the futures market and the stock market. These option traders, they're, oh, my gosh. And they use, oh, what do they do? They use the number of sequences. That's why one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations are so very important is because, guess what? 
They work on numbers. And I'm going to do a special video and get it out to the folks here uh, probably tomorrow going through what to look for because the timing thing is the same. Now, does it work every time? Of course not. But nothing works every time. You've got to remember that. Okay, now let's move on to a couple other things. We, we uh, have a, a position on. We bought some soybean oil, and we bought some soybeans on the end of the report. Now, we here I'll show you how we're going to handle that. Just get up here, and we'll move it right over here. There was our buy here. Uh, well, this is this is where the buy was here. Uh, well, let's do the hourly chart so everybody can see it and know what we were looking for. There was the hourly buy. Let's move it over right there. There it is right there. The Gartley pattern came into the report. Right. Whoopsie daisy. Let's see if we can get the – oh, shucks. Hold on. I love technical difficulties. They give me so many opportunities to say some more prayers. Okay, we came right down to the 50% retracement, and then we've rallied pretty good. We rallied about 1000 bucks. Now we're still up about 500 on it, but we put our stop here at break even. The reason for that is this is still very early in the season. They have be just beginning to plant the stuff, and there's a possibility we could have another leg down. So you've, you're in a break even trade. Break even trade is going to be okay because if we get below that, we'll be looking at another ABCD at a much lower rate. Now, we've got wheat, corn, and beans. We haven't bought any uh, wheat. It hasn't got to our level yet, but we could get all the way back down here, and it could still be very bullish. So that's why we go with break even. Now, if we look at the soybean oil, we'll get up here and look at the December soybean oil, which is right here, and we'll get the daily up. We were able to uh, do pretty good with that one. You can see we were right down in this area right here. It actually went two ticks above the thing, but because we were buying everything in sight, we bought some here at uh, 69, 47.69. We put our our buy stop, you know, at, or our sell stop at break even. Now the other one that's watching and is actually uh, acting pretty good. Hold on here just a second. Here is the wheat market, and I want to get it up here. God, I had such great charts to show you, and son of a gun, I can't do it. Now here's the wheat, and look, see, we've been we we pulled off. Here was the report. Okay, there was the buy area of the wheat, 542, went all the way up here, came all the way back down, the same thing. You've got to put your stop at the break-even point because you just don't know when it's going to turn and if it's going to turn. Now, what we'll do tomorrow is we're going to raise our stop here in the wheat up in this area to 545. So that would lock in a small profit and then we could still be heading lower. I firmly believe, and I, well, I've seen this over the past 60 years, is that we're gonna have one or two crop scares, especially since climate change is everywhere in the news and uh, everybody wants to buy a, a green car or uh, what I guess, yeah, I guess it's called a green car. Anyway, we'll see how that works. But anyway, those are the ones that we're paying attention to. And also the corn market, is still acting pretty good now remember corn was the one that looked like it was going to be the best and you know we had this down in here uh, we bought the 382 retracement here in the corn which was uh, right there is where we bought it and uh, right here and then it had a nice rally same thing you got to have to put your stop at your break-even point now this was a pretty good move because uh you know, corn rallied 20 cents. That's a fat, the most biggest move we've had in a very, very long time in one day. So the report was relatively good. And then today's pullback so far has only been down to the fifth, not even quite to the 50% levels. Here again, put our stop at the break even. These were, this is what we're looking at. And we're going to be right back. 877 927 6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the crude oil complex here. This is the 61% retracement of that whole move down. I want to move this over a little bit so you can see it as we watch it unfold here. Uh, it missed the exact number here by 10 points, uh, 10 ticks. is $100. We're now trading a little bit below it. Looking at a short-term pattern on that, you know, we were looking at a, a couple of ABCD patterns that were in here that looked real interesting. There was one right here, ABCD, that measured up here to 8410. And, of course, knowing that we were looking at that, that well, your risk would have been above that. Right now, it's starting to work uh, in the right direction. But these other, uh, the other ones didn't make this. You see, it, it missed it by quite a bit, I believe. There's your ABCD leg right there. Oh, dear. Yeah, it did. It went, this would have been 84.63. That would have been the ideal time to do it. But uh, just on a shorter-term basis, we were looking at that. And this being so close to the daily uh, you know, 84, uh, 63 uh, level, you got to 84, uh, 59. Uh, that looked like it was a really good risk opportunity. So I, I did a tiny one. I mean, it's not a, a micro contract, but I just did one just to see if it was going to hold or not, knowing that I might have to go. See how the ranges were so quiet up in here, making new highs? It was not like when it was going up here. That means your risk was a whole lot less. So that's uh, another thing. Now, there's a couple here that are playing with the devil. And what I mean by that, they're getting ready to fail big time. So let's take a look here, and we're going to be watching it. This is the uh, the euro. Now, we've been very bearish the euro for a long time, okay? Now, uh, one of the things, I'm going to show it to you two ways. On, on this small pattern here, this is 13 minutes. I'm just going to draw it here. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to see the Price objective is going to be right down here, 107.39 is what we're looking at. And you can see there's where we were so far right now with the euro. So if you believe in the euro, uh, this is where you want to do this. Is, you, got, you don't have to risk very much from here, that's for sure. Now let's look at this on the daily. 
because it has broken down below that coveted 786 level. But like we just showed you on that smaller time frame, it did make the ABCD on that smaller time frame. So if you're trading that smaller time frame, that's what you want to look for. There's actually a, another uh, ABCD pattern in here. I know you guys get tired of hearing it, but you know, folks, whoops, that's not the right thing. I want to do the drawing tool from this level right here. And back down into here, there's where we are right there. Okay, you can see this is extended down mainly because of this ABCD and the longer term 786, which came in right here. This is where the 786 came in. We went below that. We shorted that, folks. We covered the short a little too early, but we still made good money on it. And we gave a little tiny bit of it back. We made 800, gave back 300. So it's still positive by, uh, you know, $500. Now let's take a look at the other side of the coin here, which is the U.S. dollar, because the U.S. dollar should be strengthening. So if we take the dollar, you'll be able to see, aha, there is the U.S. dollar strengthening, just like it should be doing. Now, have we taken out this high as of yet? No, that has not happened. But it is going higher. Now, if the U.S. dollar is going higher, why is gold going up so much? Usually when the gold goes up, you know, the U.S., uh, the, the, when gold goes, well, the dollar and gold usually don't uh, go together, as I recall. Uh, I don't do the cross trades on that stuff, so I, I don't know. All I know is once we went above here, that's where that that uh, trade in the euro was no longer working. And so I'm saying I'm assuming this thing is going to keep going higher. So that's uh, that's what I'm watching here as I'm paying very close attention to this here so far this morning. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I also want to look at this on a shorter time frame. There is the hourly chart. See, there's where, our, there's where your pattern came in right here. And there was your 618. You see the 618 of the dollar index? You backed off a little bit, and boom, away it went higher. So if you go down to a smaller time frame, sure, you can find you can always find these patterns. But if you're going to trade an hourly pattern, folks, you trade the hourly pattern. Don't go switching over and look at a daily, weekly, and monthly. Stick with that 60-minute chart. So if you're watching a 60-minute chart, there's your low that counted. There's your high right here. Okay? You draw this in. And we're dancing with the devil right now. So if you wanted to buy the euro, this is where you buy it. You only have to risk 20 pips or so, 250 bucks in the euro. This is the opposite side of this, but that's what we were looking at here with the euro. That's it right there. So that's one of the things. If we were, but we're going to be doing these on um, August the 12th. I'm going to do three hours live, several times a month for uh, quite a while, I guess, to help. Uh, TFNN out some and some other folks and uh, we'll have a lot of fun and we're going to make some money and if we don't make any money then uh, you don't have to subscribe but we did pretty good with these things and it can be three hours and a few of these smaller patterns we're going to do just fine we've done in the last three years I think we've done six and we've always covered the the cost of commission which is uh, L and and the cost of the of the uh, system itself okay let's move on here to silver because silver was has been acting much much weaker than the gold i'm going to come back to the british pound uh in just a moment and then also i want to cover the uh, uh the british pound and also the canadian dollar excuse me the australian dollar because that's rate that is related to grains and stuff like that also so now i want to go to the silver market and then oh dear i've got so much to cover i forgot to get the rest of the crude oil complex too so i will do that here is silver we're going to put the silver up right now on the hourly chart because we had a uh yeah see it just didn't go anywhere doggone it see we had we had a nice 382 here then the market rallied up exactly to the 61 percent retracement went a little bit higher and then broke down you see from the high to there now it's holding up okay but what it did do is it came back and it stopped right where it should have pretty close right at the 618 so if we start getting below that that's telling us that you know there might be something uh might be something wrong, but we'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll have to wait and see how that uh, full unfolds as we go through. Right now, the trade of the day would be the hogs. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, the hogs and the euro. Let's check to see if the hogs are working. Maybe they are. Who knows? Let's get over here to the piggies. Here they are, little pigs. Ah, they're making a little bit of money. Not very much. It's making about uh, 150 bucks. It's I see on a smaller time frame. 
yeah, they backed off a little bit from up in here, but they're making very, very little. But this is a big pattern, folks, on the daily. That's a three drive. See, see, here's what you look at this four minute chart. You say, oh, I don't see the three drive. Well, you don't see it because you got to do it on the daily if you wanted to see it. Because these patterns are everywhere. That's one of the things that Mandelbrot and uh, Gartley, you know, proved to you that these APC lightning bolt patterns, whatever you want to call them, they're everywhere. But you got to try to put them together so that they, you know, fit in the t time frame of what you want to trade. That's the main thing. All right, let's go back to the British pound. I'm jumping all over the, jumping all over the map here, but we'll get it correct here for a second and then we'll do the pretty where is it there nope that's not it it's got to be up here higher where is it there it is right here here's the british pound and let's just get the daily up you'll be able to see where we are oh dear that's the euro pound son of a gun hold on just a second why am i here is the british pound right there sorry there's Okay, ah, we're coming down nicely. This is what we want to see. 150 British pound. Wow, oh, holy cow. What does that say? 150, 125. Yeah, there's where we are. Okay, here's the daily of the British pound. Now, we are heading down. We have we'll, got to pay a few bills. I'll be right back. We're going to cover this British pound extensively, okay? So stay with us. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, now this is the daily chart of the British pound. This is Forex. This isn't the futures. This is the Forex market, as you can see here. And we'll, we'll do the futures right after this one. But you'll notice here the lows that we had way back here in February are very close to where we are right now. Right in this area, we had the A, B, C, D to the upside. A, B, C, D to the upside, okay? And it probably made a 1.27 of the last move. Let's just double check to see how that did. Yeah, a little bit above it, but not too much. Here's where we are now looking at this. We're going to move this over, and we're going to make it into a four-hour chart so we can see it real clearly. And there's what we were looking at. You see what happened here? It looked like we were making that bottom in here. And look at the rally that we had, folks. You remember that rally that we talked about when we were on the air from the high down to the low? Where did it go to? That was on the Wednesday before uh, I went on the trip to see the Arizona Wildcats make a fool of themselves. Well, not make a fool of themselves. But anyway, as you're seeing here now, you did hit that 3A2. You're starting to move lower. This is saying that we're most probably going to take this one out without any trouble. The reasoning for that is, is if you look at this, which is strong trend down that we have now, You've already completed the first A, B, C, D to the downside. You have the 3A2 retracement, and now look what you have going for you. You've got the A, B, C, D leg coming down in here, telling you you're going to be down, and there is your support in the British pound. It's going to be here at 1, 2, 4, 3, 7. That is 100 points from where we are right now. That's what it looks like, okay? So keep a close eye on that one because that could be a very, very interesting one. If we go back and look at this on the daily, because you want to be able to go back and see the larger picture to see why that fits in with the total program. So you just come up because you can see the British pound has been pretty bullish from October. We went from 120 all the way up to uh, 129 or 128.90. So our first pullback here, if you if you believe in the old uh, – Addies at 382 is what you want to do. Let's just put this over here. There's your low. There's your high. And your 382 comes in. Guess where, boys and girls? Guess where? Just take a look at this again on the hourly. And that number is going to be, uh, what was that? No, it was four hours. Sorry, just one second. 124. Let's give it to you exactly. 12437. All right. And we look at this on the daily again. One, two, four, three, seven would be right in here. So pay attention to that. That's going to be a really big one. That's a three, eight, two. And Gartley said, buy the first A, B, C, D in a bull, in a new bull market. And if that's a new bull market, there's your A, B, C, D right here coming in right about there. Bada bing, bada boom. And they have to take a look at that one. That one would be very, very interesting to look at. So let's pay attention to that as we go through. Now let's go back and look at the uh, – heating oil and also the uh, gasoline because you know we have a complex there when you crack the stuff it you know we have to have mike moore on tomorrow is our guest we haven't had him he's been gone for a while and also we've got uh, uh jeff huge to come on too but tomorrow we're going to try to have uh, uh well jeff won't be back he's still in new zealand but i believe uh, mike is back and we'll have him on okay now let's take a look at the first one we're going to look at here is the uh the gasoline and here it is right here. There's your uh, June, uh, yeah, your June gasoline. We're going to get it up here. And um, it did take, oh, let's see, it, did, it took the high out, but it didn't, it didn't go anywhere. It took the high out of yesterday. See, it took the high out of yesterday. It still has this potential to come in here. But since it took this high out and didn't go anywhere, whereas the crude oil did, let's take a look at the hourly chart to see if there was any indication that there might be another pattern. And sure enough, if you were just looking at this on the intraday today, we like that pattern known as the 135 pattern. You just, there's your lower highs. Okay, remember the crude oil went up and, and completed this ABCD. Okay, 
the gasoline did not. So there's your one three five pattern. Your ratios, it looks like they're just about right on the seven eight six number. Again, there's where your algorithmic traders and all these other dudes come in uh, with those sophisticated numbers that they look at because it's all numbers, folks, and uh, that's where it all comes from. So anyway, that's the gasoline. Now the next one we want to we're done with that one. Let's get over and take a look at the heating oil, which has been the weeks. It's been the weak stepsister for this one, that's for sure. Okay, this is April. I've got to change this over to the uh, to the uh, June contract. Uh, and hang on, and uh, that'll get us over here, hopefully. And oh, that's what I needed—a bad tick. I can take care of that by moving to the four-hour chart. Hold on. They'll correct that at the end of the day, hopefully. Yeah. Look at this. You talk about a market that is really sick. Okay, folks, if you never listen to another show that I give you, always remember this pattern right here. I'm just going to draw it in because this, this is the lost Dutchman mine, King Midas's touch, whatever you want to use. You see this right here? This is the best pattern I've ever seen. It's a Gartley, but it's a Gartley at a 382, and that's why it's so incredible. There's your eight. Remember, this is a, a four hour chart, so there's your ABCD. It goes to the 50%. Let's see the difference between the 50% and the 382. It's going to be about a little more than a point and a half, which is acceptable for risk. But there's your ABCD pattern coming in right here. Here's your 382. I, I, bet, I bet if you looked at this, the amount of time that it stayed here uh, at that level of 267 was a heartbeat. So let's let's that's on the 24th. Let's take an hourly chart and go back in history to look on the 24th and see how long it stayed. There it is right there. See how long it stayed there? Boom, bang, it was down hardly. There's that same pattern that we're looking at, same one. So what, what do we should be looking for? We should be looking for the next 3A2 on the way back up. So let's take a look at it. And it just hit it just a little while ago in heating oil right now. So there's a, there's a relatively low risk trade in heating oil. And also, if you looked at it closely, you also made a nice little A, B, C, D pattern right up in here, too, almost exactly to the right uh, time frame that we're looking at. So I certainly hope uh, that this uh, lines up uh, pretty good. So this shows you that there's a lot of divergence here between heating oil, gasoline, and the crude oil. And let's see if the crude oil is still moving down in the right direction. Uh, see, we're done with the British pound, okay, and I think I've got to clean some of these out here. Um, okay, three, four, seven. This one is uh, done. Okay, we get this one done here. If you have any questions, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I think we've got a break coming up here, and then what? Well, yeah, we do have a break coming up here in forty seconds, and we come back. I'm going to go over the uh, three eight twos for the uh, Dow Jones, and also for the E Mini S and P, and. Uh, I'm not going to do the NASDAQ because most of you folks shouldn't trade the NASDAQ, but I will do it because we have time to do it, and I'm going to do it. So stay with us. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee.
So, ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, now this is the NASDAQ on a 30 minutes, 60 minute chart, hourly chart. And you'll notice that the Dow Jones, the Russell, and the S&P all took these highs out from March 21st start of spring the equinox remember now since that time the market has come down it has not completed any a b c d patterns other than this small one that is right here where we made a new low from the previous day see it came down and there was your there was your price objective right here and then you had the rally up well coming into today you know this is this is the first this was a, a sunday night trading okay so Sunday night trading, you would be watching because you come up, it gapped up. See how it gapped up quite a bit, about 30, 40 points, went all the way up to here. And how well did it do? It went the A, B leg right here to your C, D leg right here. And uh, pretty close to uh, miss it by uh, 10 cents or whatever it is. Miss it by a little bit. And if you measured it from the high down to this level right here, just right in between 618 and 786. And then we have the big break. Okay, this is the key. If you're going to be watching it from the bearish side, which we certainly are, this is where we are on a 60-minute chart. We had a big break. There's your – came down. There's a report here that came in. I don't remember what it was, but some type of report. So you want to find out if it's made this 382 retracement as of yet. And as you mark this down, there it is. So the – it's hit right on the money, and it's now down. Uh, 90 was the number. It's now 34 handles below that. But there was your 382 that came in during today. Now, the Dow Jones didn't make the 382 retracement, nor did the S&P. Let's just get over to the S&P, and I will show you where we are here. And uh, it's going to come down here one of these days, but maybe not in our lifetime. Hold on. We'll get up here, and we'll take a quick look at it right here. And there's where we are right here. The 382 on the S&P comes in here at 5301. There's our high from March 31st last night in the middle of the night. It comes down. In fact, this would be doing it in ABCD format. And we're, we're not very far. We're, we're what, uh, whew, it's, it's, uh, 10 handles? Yeah, we're 10 handles away. That's going to probably make that easily. So watch this pattern right here. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD. And that there's your 382 coming in. From that high, just like we looked at in the NASDAQ, that's at uh, 5301. We stop would have to be 
above here. So let's uh, let's keep an eye on that as we're watching these things, uh, you know, unfold here uh, this morning as we're looking at some of these things. Uh, I know some people ask me, you know, why I'm bullish the grain so much for two reasons. One, they've been down for several years. Second thing is that planning intention report that came out uh, on last Thursday was actually, it wasn't really very bearish at all. It had some some undertones of actually maybe some bullishness because they cut back the acreage a little bit. Now, if you cut back the acreage a little bit and then you have a weather problem, <laughs> that's when trouble hits River City, folks, because now they need the grain and they won't have it. And not only that, but they've got Mr. Putin between a rock and excuse me, a rock and a hard place because he's been selling wheat hand over fist and wheat has been rallying ever since that time that's been in the news. Here's the May wheat. This is the one he happens to be short. Remember a couple weeks ago? This is when he was selling all the wheat. They had uh, taken over Crimea or whatever it was. Odessa, I don't remember. No, Odessa. It was to Crimea where the grain is shipped out of it. Look at this. This is still bullish. we got higher bottoms now. So wheat's beginning to look bu bullish. But look where it's coming from, folks. It's coming from a very, very low level. That means that we could have one heck of a rally here. You know, we've already exceeded. Look at this rally here. See, we, we matched. We exceeded it by a couple cents, but we've matched those rallies. You see how these rallies? You think these numbers don't mean anything? Look, there's the first rally. There's the second rally. There's the third rally. There's the fourth rally. They're all equal. Now, this is things that we cover in the Floor Traders Handbook all the time, why these things repeat and prove that we did all the work with the euro, of course. But soon as we soon as we do this, let me just draw this line down here because if people watch these trend lines, just like anything else, as soon as we exceed about 580, which is up about uh, 25 cents, this is going to tell us that we're probably going to go a whole lot higher. This the The profit objective on this one here, you can see the – Move, there's your 583. So once we get above 583, that's going to tell us, uh-oh, something has changed in the wheat market. And we've had that bear market from $13. There's your 50% level coming in right there. Once we close above that, that's telling us this market is starting to move. Now, we try to buy on the pullback, and so far that's been the right thing to do, but it's still uh, still a bit early, and you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry too much about that. So 5301 in the S&P. Uh, and that's uh, what we're paying attention to here. And let's get up here with the uh, next one here. Someone's asked a question about the cattle. Let's get this cattle chart up here. This was one that we had a really nice uh, 382 forming. Let's get this here today. There was a 382 right up here, 180. It's now down four cents, uh, breaking uh, badly. Uh, we pointed that out in uh, the video that we sent out on hogs and cattle uh, earlier this morning. And uh, so looking for trades to, to look at. There was also a natural gas trade that we were watching that turned out to be relatively good. But anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, with the cattle. Let's get this June cattle up here, put the daily up because we're getting so – here's, the th here's the, we're through the 382 now. See, there was the 382. You had a 38 – look at this rally, folks. 382 rally. Oh, my goodness. A blind man could have made money on that one. There's your 382 on the daily. We just saw it on the hourly. And it's had a huge break here. You know, I, sh I sold the hogs. I should have sold the darn uh, cattle. Cattle has four cents, and hogs only have a penny. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to uh, with this one here this morning. Someone's asked a question about their favorite stock, which happens to be Tesla. I believe we're heading towards 170 and something in Tesla, folks, or 160, something like that. Let's get the uh, get this Tesla up and take a quick look at it. I've got a couple of stocks here people are asking me about. And if someone has a question about Bitcoin, which I know very little about, yeah, see, Tesla just finished a very, 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 very bearish pattern, folks. You see this little pattern right here? You see that little pattern right there, that 382 right here? That's the same pattern. It's that ABC, the Gartley in a bear market. There's your ABCD leg. Comes right in at the 50%. Okay. There's a, we even put this in from last week. There was the bearish one right there, 184, now heading down. Now the $64 question, are we going to be able to make, <clears throat> excuse me, a 135 pattern here? That's going to be very important because we need to watch this because this could be a 135 pattern. Draw your high to your low. There it is right there. Hit it today, 170, so maybe that's going to be enough to hold it. Getting below 170, mm, not so good. 
Remember this on the long-term weekly, I believe we did. I don't know if we did. No, we didn't do this on the weekly. We did it on the daily. But if the, if you look at the pattern here on this, I will just show you. We do have a, a big move here from your low up to your high. That comes in here at, uh, there's your 61% retracement where we're trading at right now. And there's the one that we're looking for is probably down here to about 141 if it doesn't hold. But if it holds this, on that hourly basis, it's got a chance. So there's your risk factor. And Tesla is two bucks on $170 stock. That's not so bad. Let's take a break. 877 927 6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the chart of Apple. As you can see here, it's been under a great deal of pressure since December the 13th. As we've come down, you notice the 382 retracements, especially as you're starting to accelerate to the downside, are very prevalent. Now, you had one here just the other day here on the 19th, and here we are on 1st of April. We also had a move right here. So if you go down to the 60-minute chart, just stick with the program, and there was your uh, – actually, it went to a 50% retracement right here. It, probably a little I don't know how accurate that thing is so let's just double check yeah see it's a little less 
than the 50 percent see this little little tool here that has these little things on it this is measured to the second uh, decimal point to the hundredths and you can't trade in hundredths because they're too small but anyway there's the 382 came in at 172 the high on this was once a point and a half higher which is nothing but look what's happened now where we are with apple on a short-term basis now this is completed now, i don't know if it's going to mean much but this is for risk control purposes this is where apple has to play the game right here we take these lows out. Watch this, folks. This could be really, really good, and I'll tell you why. If we take this out and it doesn't go sharply lower, this is a major test that has held on. And the reason why, just get this up here. You're going to see it real closely. It's going to be right at the old 786, which is down in here. So it's going to take out these lows. by just Let's just put it on here so we can see it clearly. What we'll do is we'll clean everything out, delete all. And we're going to draw that 786 in so you'll be able to see where we are. We're right there now. We're going to take all these stops out potentially, okay, because this, this is the one that really counts. This is the 61% retracement. So if we take out all of these stops right here, then Apple has a really good chance to look at it. And it's based on what I'm seeing here with this ABCD pattern on a really short-term basis. But remember, this is one actively traded stock. 169, folks. The old low was 167, so watch 169. I'm gonna put the beeper on though, keep an eye on it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with our guest who is going to be none other than our good friend, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. So we'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.